What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back once again to do our Pokemon card auctions of the week recap that y'all love so much. Uh, this week we have once again a wonderful variety of uh, lots, graded cards, sealed product, both modern and vintage. I love doing this series because every week you see something new. There's never the same lineup and it always keeps this series fresh. So thank you all for watching. Please give this video a like and please subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you more top 10 Pokemon card content. So without further ado, let's get into it here with our modern product that sold this week, starting with some Vivid Voltage. Uh, we have a couple Pikachus to go over. Here is a full art Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage in a PSA 10 that sold for $122.50. It's nice to go over some of the other Pikachus from this set other than just the Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. Uh, we also have the Pikachu V full art card. This is probably my favorite Pikachu card in this set. It just looks extra like, yeah, what's up? You know, I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit more than the other two. This one is a PSA 10 sold for $202.50. And then, of course, the Rainbow Rare Pikachu V Max sold this week for $655. So, this card has been holding its value uh, pretty much ever since the release. I mean, it's come down, of course, but it's never really bottomed out, and I don't expect it to. Speaking of Pikachu, here we have a Cracked Ice Hollow Pikachu from Evolutions. This is the one you got from the theme deck that sold as a PSA 10 for $330. Up next, we got some Evolutions cards to go over, starting with this Glaceon GX from Hidden Fates that in PSA 10 sold for $134. Here is a Leafeon GX from Hidden Fates that sold for $202. Uh, and then we have an Espeon GX, also from Hidden Fates, that sold for $152. And check this out, we have an Espeon EX from Breakpoint Set. I actually like this card a lot more than the Espeon from Hidden Fates because of that psychic aura that's kind of like steaming off of her. Pretty cool. This card is a PSA 10 sold for $220. Up next, we have the Umbreon GX that sold for $270. Umbreon... I think, I'm gonna say it, Umbreon is the most valuable Evolution <laughs> thus far. Uh, you know, but when I made my top 10 Evolutions list, Umbreon like consumed a lot of that list and she just seems to fetch that premium every time an Evolution lineup comes out. Let's take a look at this SGC Charizard V card that sold as an SGC 10 for $285. Pretty, that's not a bad price for SGC. Their modern graded cards don't usually uh, hold up too well. Uh, when you compare it to this PSA 10 that sold for $440, I guess it's, I guess it is like almost half the amount, but still, I was kind of surprised to see the SGC go for that much. We have a Charizard Breaks and Rainbow Rare GX that sold for $305. This card like never moves. It's always between like three and $400. It seems to be like it's happy, happy weight, happy price there. It's around $300. Here from Sword and Shield, we have a Rainbow Rare Marnie trainer card that sold as a PSA 10 for $167. And then the Mew and Mew 2 GX from Unified Minds Secret Rare sold for $510, which is uh, more of a premium price than this card has been going for in the past. Uh, here I wanted to include this energy card. This is from Burning Shadows, the Secret Rare Fire Energy. I like these energy cards. I like the specialty energy cards. They're not the most popular, but I like them. I like to collect them. This one sold as a PSA 10 for $201 this week. All right, we have a lineup of Gyarados cards that came in through for auction. I want to touch on all these because I'm a big Gyarados fan, and this is one of my favorite Pokemon, so let's take a look at some of these cards. From Diamond and Pearl Mysterious Treasures, we have a Gyarados card that sold for $147 as a PSA 10. I have not seen this card come through in auction, Probably because it says it's a population of one. Uh, we have a Gyarados EX from Breakpoint Set. If you don't know what Breakpoint Set is, it's a very Gyarados heavy card set. This Full Art Gyarados EX sold for $163 this week. And then the Mega Gyarados EX sold for $125. And then the Secret Rare Gyarados EX from Breakpoint Set sold for $350 for a PSA 10. And this card's awesome. You got all the water Pokemon in the, ma the background there. Manaphy, you got Greninja, like surfing around with the Gyarados coming out of the water. Very awesome card. Uh, here, another EX card in Luya EX from Ancient Origins set that sold this week for $610. But wait, I got another Lugia here from Lost Thunder, this Lugia GX that sold as a PSA 10 for $729. 
Ooh, look at this. We have a black label BGS 10 Amazing Rare Celebi from Vivid Voltage that sold for $1,450. It's always awesome to see a black label come through and to see the premium prices that they go for. Here from Chilling Rain, we have a full art Galarian Moltres V that sold as a PSA 10 for $700 even. Ah, I am in love with this artwork. Uh, I also love the other Moltres card from this set. It's the regular Moltres V, I believe. Awesome, awesome card. And then we have from Evolving Skies, this English Rayquaza V Max that got the PSA 10 and sold for $1,022. And let me tell you what, folks, I was looking at this card. It looks super clean, super minty, and very, very well centered. Last week, the Japanese version of this card sold, I think it's a black label BGS 10 for $7,200. So this one here got a little bit over $1,000. What do y'all think of that? All right, heading towards the more vintage part of our video, we have this Charmeleon Hollow from EX Dragon. This is a secret rare card, very underrated card if you ask me, in PSA 10 that sold for $422. Beautiful, beautiful hollow foil there. Got a nice swirl like it says in the title. Uh, and I have Legendary Birds here, all from Fire Red Leaf Green set that sold. This Zapdos EX went for $410. The Moltres EX sold for $456. And the Articuno EX sold for $630. It always seems like Articuno beats out the other two as far as value when they're all in the same set. Uh, we have this Raichu EX from EX Sandstorm that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,050. And then here we had a Reggie Gigas Level X card. This is a Black Star promo from the Diamond and Pearl era that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,025 this week. Here we have an SGC 10 Jolteon Holo from Sky Ridge. I cannot stand this card, but it sold for $362 uh, for an SGC label. And then we had this Squirtle from Expedition Set. I like this Squirtle a lot better than this other Squirtle from Expedition Set. It's like the claymation kind of Squirtle. I'm not a big fan of that, but this is an awesome artwork and it sold for $152. And then the Charmander from Expedition sold for $152 as well. Uh, here we have a Charmander from Legendary Collection, the reverse foil that sold as a BGS 9.5 for $792 US dollars. This is not a card you come across very often, especially in a PSA 10, so I wanted to make note of this card. Here from Topps Chrome, we have the Charizard card that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,877. And then we have the Pokemon Center Black Star promo from the Watsi era that sold as a PSA 10 for $760. This, along with the Lucky Stadium Trainer card, are two of the heavier hitting cards from that Black Star promo set. Here we have a holographic Azumarill from Neo Genesis. This is the unlimited version that sold for $730. A couple of Japanese cards to go over. We have this uh, uh, Japanese Neo Set Typhlosion card that sold as a PSA 10 for $511. And then the Lugia from the set sold as a PSA 10 for $1,405. Now these seem like impressive prices, and they are, but my gosh, their English counterparts in PSA 10 would absolutely dwarf these prices, you know? Here we have a BGS 10 black label Japanese Bulbasaur Prism card that sold for $830 in auction. Here is a first edition Korean Alakazam card from base set that sold as a PSA 10 for $1,425. And to finish up with the graded cards here, we have a complete Hidden Fates Shiny Vault PSA 10 set. It includes 41 slabs that went for $5,200. All right, some sealed product to go over. We have this Lava Theme Deck from Legendary Collection that sold in auction for $2,696. This is probably one of, if not the most expensive uh, theme deck you can get. It's got the, uh, of course, the Charizard in it, the non-holo version, and yeah, over $2,600 for this deck. You get a base two booster box cell sealed for $8,100 as well. And then we had a sealed Gym Challenge first edition booster box which looked like box fresh, like straight from the case, uh, that went for $11,123. I found this quite interesting. We had a first edition base set booster pack featuring the Venusaur artwork that sold for $7,689. And he even has a picture of it on the scale at 21.3 grams. So I guess that's, I think that's more on the heavier side for base set packs. It's hard to ever say without actually weighing it along with the other packs from the box, but I think anything over 21 grams is usually a pretty good sign, and this one seems exceptionally heavy, so maybe it was a heavy pack. I don't know. 
And the auction of the week goes to this first edition base set, non-hollowed graded card lot, uh, which is cards 17 through 102 that sold for $7,124. Now this is a mixture of like mainly PSA 9s, PSA 8s, with like a PSA 10 sprinkled in here and there. If you look through these pictures, it even includes the Red Cheeks Pikachu. So uh, in PSA 9, which still is a very valuable card. So yeah, that was quite an interesting auction. What do y'all think of the auctions this week? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your support. You, I appreciate it more than I could ever say. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, and I will see you all then. Thank you.